to our scheduling notes uh, and information. So uh, just to kind of to understand, scheduling means that they're scheduling orders for production dates in the future. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what's scheduling this week. Also, uh, we'll talk about for next month, which should start, I had that down actually, should start uh, April 10th. The week of April 10th is probably when uh, we'll see April's uh, pr uh, scheduling information and scheduling start for those allocations. Most dealers won't receive those allocations till the week, uh, till right after the first of, the, of that month. In fact, on the Bronco, they're going to base that off of the end month in instead of off of the 20th, which is what they typically keep that talk about. Well, we'll talk about that into the uh, when we get uh, further in. So there you go. There you go. All right. So tonight we're we're working on. We don't have a new key, new keyboard yet. Sarah loves chatting with you guys, so she's going to use her phone. So it was she's, either she's not look. She's not she's not <laughs> messing around her phone. She's actually messaging you yeah, guys. Yeah, because it's <laughs> it's either I don't chat with you guys and I sit here and you know maybe do some of the the <laughs> stuff. Or I pull out my phone and I chat with you guys. So I pull out my phone to chat with you guys. So we'll do that tonight. But next week when we go to, to New York, we're going to hit the B&H and we're going to try to, we'll work on a, yeah, if we'll not, get a silicone keyboard for Yeah, if her. not there, I'll find a silicone keyboard online yeah, to on Amazon, come yeah. out to us. And yep. All right. So let's get into this. Hopefully I don't have to pull out my glasses. So, all right. 24 Mustang is not scheduling this week. Uh, we probably know the order banks are now open. All Train Nation put in an order on a GT, I believe. And so, um, yes, so they're open right now. COVP is required. COVP is Customer Order Verification Program. Um, that's where you sent over to Ford, you know, the uh, buyer's order that's signed and filled out by the customer, the uh, order sheet as well, and a copy of the driver's license to show it's a real person. So uh, there you go. So, By the way, some people say they like the clanking of the keyboard. <laughs> Well, well, too many people. Keep we try to make everybody happy, so maybe too we shouldn't many, worry about that. Yeah, but. too many people keep commenting <laughs> about it. All right, so um, so that's for this week. So they're not scheduling, but for um, for April, which should happen uh, the week of start the week of April tenth, uh, they will be uh, doing scheduling for those re those orders that are in the order bank to start being pulled and scheduled for June production dates. So there you go, All Train Nation. You, Dave, you might get scheduled for June production date, so uh, we'll uh, cross our fingers there, and uh, maybe you need to let me know what your order and see if there's any changes that need to be made. <laughs> no accessories. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, moving on. Uh, 23 Escape is not scheduling this week, and uh, for next month, um, of course, we do st still have a couple weeks that are they're going to schedule yet, um, but I got the information this week for uh, April's scheduling information that's why I'm kind of shared it with you in this video along with this uh, so next month they are not going to schedule at all for plug-in hybrid so I know we have a couple of people that ask about that a lot of weeks but they're not going to be scheduling for plug-in hybrid on this escape um, and also they're not going to schedule any panoramic vista roofs zero they said um, they said that they recommend they're not going to allow for any stock orders for escape and they recommend for people if they want to get scheduled anytime soon, they're going to probably take that off. So anyway, there you go. Um, so it'll probably be close to July. It says significant moon roof constraint. Ten, it says 10%, but they told us zero uh, through July will result in scheduling delays. So uh, they're going to have an issue. So since they're going to be scheduling for June production dates, there'll be no moon roofs probably and probably even in July. So the next two months. So if you want one, take that off of your orders. And it did say that they have not shipped out the 23s yet. They're getting the okay to buy soon. Uh, so there you go. So, oh, if we do have any questions, then we uh, yep. did go ahead and start the question box. So if this any of this information triggers some questions for you, drop them in there. Once you put the question in there, you probably won't see the question, but it is in there. And we'll get to those questions. We're going to do them in order, just so you know that. So we won't forget about anybody's questions. We'll get through all of them. We always make sure that we do. So. Um, all right, moving on to Bronco Sport. They are scheduling this week. Uh, just a note uh, for next month, uh, they're going to be scheduling uh, for, um, actually, I didn't put it in here, but it should be for June production dates. And they did say for stock orders, uh, dealers will not be able to order a Big Ben or a base. 
um, only the Outer Banks and Heritage Editions will be able to be ordered. Um, and then they said Big Ben and Badlands will still be able, uh, customers can still order them though. Um, and then don't forget, body colored roof now is standard on all of your um, your Badlands and Outer Banks. And if you want the black roof, it's an extra $500 and can be added as a standalone option. Thank you, Donald. Thank you so much. 23 Edge, they are scheduling. It says cleanup scheduling, so they're filling those last holes. I, I don't know why we never get in. Like, we were looking today. We still have a couple 22 edges in. I'm like, where's our 23? So uh, it doesn't seem like we get any. Um, and we're having a hard time getting ours scheduled. Uh, they are scheduling for uh, next month. Next month, they'll be scheduling for May production dates, and they're only one more month away from being the build out, which means they're going to just they're going to schedule out to the end of their production cycle. So for the year, uh, 23 Bronco, no scheduling this week, probably because those orders are still being put in. They don't want to miss anybody and get an opportunity. Order banks opened up yesterday. They are still open as of right now i haven't seen any dealer bulletins yet saying they're going to close or anything maybe i should check my email real quick i do have 34 in the last hour all right let's see here nope no dealer news update yet so there we go um so covp is required so they are very uh they want to make sure everybody knows you need to do the covp on your order so I know I turned my head, so you probably didn't hear me, but so I'll repeat that again. COVP is required on those. Order banks are still open. Um, now in June, or I mean in April for scheduling, they are going to be scheduling for June production dates next month, which is would start in a couple weeks. They said they're not doing any Heritage Limited Edition scheduling or Bronco Raptor scheduling for the entire month. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about Bronco in a little bit, what you can and can't get, and some things to think about. Um, 23, uh, we'll talk about now that your order's in, what can be done, what do you, what happens next. We'll go on into all that for those that have new orders. 23 Explorer, uh, we're going to do, uh, they are going to be scheduling this week for cleanup scheduling, so fill in those last slots. So basically dealers that still have allocations not fulfilled will have an opportunity. Um, and then we do have their next month, they're going to be scheduling for June production dates. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind as well. Um, a couple of different updates for Explorer we're going to talk about during the dealer uh, update that we just uh, received today. 23 Expedition is scheduling again for cleanup, so those dealers that still have allocations left. Um, and then next month they'll be scheduling for June production date. So on most models they schedule about two months in advance. So uh, F-150 and Super Duty are the only two that are different. Uh, they're always usually one month ahead. Um, and then Expedition, they, they reminded dealers, you need to add the heavy duty trailer tow package that the trailer tow prep package is not available right now. So you need to make sure you add those. And also almost about every trim level is only available for retail. So it looks like you're not gonna be able to put any stock orders in. So 23 Maverick it does say they're scheduling for production weeks of 522 and 529. Um, and uh, they are scheduling for U.S. fleet retail and stock orders. That would be the tremor. Um, and next month they'll be uh, scheduling for June production dates. So, um, of course, don't forget about those key constraints: the tow hitch, splash guards, the load, uh, the tray liner, the one that's just on the bottom, and your trifold bed cover. Uh, 23 Ranger. No scheduling this week, and next month will be the last week they're scheduling for 23 production. So that is what they call build out. So they're going to be scheduling next month uh, for the month of April to finish out. So June is when they're going to finish out production for the 23 Rangers. So July, June, middle June, July is when they're going to start scheduling. So order banks should be up. open. We've seen, heard nothing about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Um, 23 F-150 is scheduling uh, for the week of 424 this week. And uh, for next month, they'll be scheduling for May production dates. They are not gonna schedule Raptor R's next month. Um, and then there's a lot of different constraints on there, uh, which we can go through in just a little bit. I actually have some updated um, commodity constraints on a lot of different models that we can talk about. If we wanna break that out on a separate section, we might need to do that, because there's a bunch. 23 Super Duty. Um, they are now scheduling. They've converted to job two. Um, so they are scheduling for that. The, um, they, ha they have been having issues with the 
um, onboard scales and the smart hitch before uh, being able to come up on Webdo for the Lariat trim. It's there now. Uh, we I selected it. I was able to do that Saturday. Uh, so that's available. But the 355 with the FX4 package is still not available in Webdo. It's grayed out. Um, they're saying it's supposed to be able to be able to do that. So uh, it's a little concerning that it isn't. I have a message in with the brand manager. Haven't gotten a reply back yet. Uh, just sent it over today. Uh, next month will be for May production dates. Again, they only schedule about a month in advance. Um, and I'll give you the breakdown of numbers here in just a little bit on the different trim levels for job two. For those that are wanting a King Ranch and such, you can see what your chances are on getting one of those. All right. Transit Connect van is not scheduling this week, and they're not scheduling next month either. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Transit Connect Wagon is not scheduling this week. Uh, they are scheduling next month for June production dates. Uh, 23 Transit, they are scheduling this week for the weeks of 5.15 and 5.22. And next month, they'll be scheduling for June production dates. You can see, all, like I said, most of them go two months in advance. Mach-E uh, does say they're scheduling this week. Um, and it says next month they are not scheduling so for the entire month, so which is crazy. There you go. So let's talk about some key um, percentages. I need the glasses for this. You guys got to see how small this is. Okay. All right. Um, so on the Bronco, um, we'll, we'll skip that. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, Bronco Sport. Um, there, it looks like to me uh, for this is for a this is for April's production. So it's not for this necessarily this week or anything. Just so you know this um, for the Bronco Sport for April for June production time. Um, Badlands and Heritage Limited it looks like they're not going to be scheduling those. It's just so you know that they have zero percent on those on the mix on that. Um, also on the Edge Titanium Lux package that's at 301A and the ST High package which is 401A. Um, for May production dates, they're not going to be scheduling those two. So you have that. Uh, Escape, now we already talked about the plug-in, not scheduling. Uh, it does say it looks like hybrid and base is not going to be scheduling either. And of course, we mentioned Panorama Vista roof is not scheduling. Um, Explorer, wow, there's a lot here. I would say for June production time, production dates, base, limited hybrid, platinum hybrid, ST401A, hands-free lift gate, um, also, the um, it says the pack, the option 91X, which is less the HVAC, uh, the rear HVAC on the base and XLT without the appearance package. You almost need like a degree on this to read all this stuff. A technology package and the hotspot, which is the optional delete available 59W, 0% for all those. We're going to talk about the uh, something else that's coming back on the Explorer here in just a little bit. Um, also, um, F-150, <clears throat> double the crew cab uh, for May production dates, 82% is their capacity. So that's what they're going to try to schedule is 82% of the orders will be the super crew, which we've seen actually several months where they were looking for super cab and record cab. Now they're kicking back to the super cab or the super crew version again. 80 to 82% of those that get that are getting scheduled will be 4 by 4s mm -hmm. so which that's pretty much what most people are doing. Now the breakdown on the engines, if you wanted that breakdown, oh, hold on, I might need a tip measure here. Uh, get in line mm -hmm. here. Two seven is 25%. Uh, Looks like the three five hybrid is 15%. The 3.5 EcoBoost is 40% and the 5.0 is 25%. Now all those had like a range there and I rounded up on all those. So if the number don't come out to 100%, that's why. Um, the 20 inch Aluminum wheel, 2%. So if you have that optional wheel, oh, wait, no, that's the tonneau covers. Tonneau covers is 2%. That makes more sense. 20-inch alloy wheel is 13%. Um, Tremor, 401A is 4%, but the 402A is 3%. Um, your XLT uh, black appearance packet, 7%. The Lariat black appearance packet is only 4%. The Platinum appearance packet is 1%. And the STX black appearance package is 2%. So all those appearance packages are very low on there. And Heritage Edition is 1%. If you want one of those, we got a bunch on our lot. We'll sell you. Um, Super Duty. All right, so moving to Super Duty, King Ranch, they are, looks like their capacity is about 7% or 9% uh, is what the, on for May production dates, that's what they're going to be scheduled for. So 9% of their um, the ones they schedule for will be, or produce, I should say, will be King Ranch. 11% will be Platinum. 
7% will be limited, and 26% Lariat, which that's a pretty good number for Lariat. Um, now, if you're looking for the engines, um, we do have 20% for the 6.8-liter uh, gas engine, 48, so about half of them for diesel, the 6.7 diesel, 22% for the high-output diesel, and then 18% for the 7.3. Tonneau covers 0%. We're going to talk about accessories and stuff here in a second, and... So I just remind you right now. I just said zero percent for tonneau covers on the Super Duty. <laughs> um, the the, uh, the Panoramic Vista roof, fifteen percent. Spray and bed liner, twenty-two percent. So that's less than a fourth. So okay. Anyway, hopefully I'm making my point here. Running boards, thirty percent. A fifth wheel, twenty-four um, percent. The eighteen uh, cast aluminum wheel on the XLT is ten percent. The one that same wheel. Uh, well, not the same wheel, but the Lariat cast aluminum 18 is 9% and heavy duty alternator is 4%. So uh, there you go. Uh, Expedition. So these are the things that are they're not going to be producing at all for June, which is scheduling it next month. Mahogany interior on the, the limited. The dual exhaust, 0% of those. The 22 inch alloy, 0%. Running board, the color accented one. Uh, is 0%. Uh, that's what's on the XLT 202A and the limited 301A. And then the limited 303A, zero, they're not going to make any of those um, in the month of June. And then, um, of course, you need to get the heavy duty uh, trailer tow package. Um, let's see what else. Um, transit, there's a bunch on here. I don't know if you want me to go through those. I feel like I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> Transit Trail, 2%. It launches May 29th for production. So for June production, 2% uh, of the orders, uh, or once they're going to be built, will be the Trail Transit Trail, which would be cool to see those once they actually get built. Uh, I think we actually have a couple of people order those here, so that'll be kind of fun. Mm. Um, so we'll see if they get scheduled. <laughs> anyway. Um, the high roof, 35%, the medium roof, 40%, and the low roof, 30%. So that's kind of the breakdown on the roof sizes. Um, power sliding uh, door, 0%. The um, front camera uh, is 5%. The high resolution rear camera is 12%. The uh, PowerPoint plug, level 2, is 1%. Crew van, 0 Powerboard, 0 barn door zero and zero for the 10,360 GVW package on the van cutaway and uh, chassis cab. So there you go. All I right. haven't found the super chats. Huh? I haven't found the super chats. <laughs> I see that. All right. Uh, Mustang, and this is for the 24 Mustang for June production. So uh, all train nation, if you're still in here, yeah, hopefully I didn't uh, push you away with the boring stuff here, but um, here's the numbers if you have any of these. Night Pony package includes the black painted roof, uh, 5% is their breakdown, their mix there. Dark horse version is 0%, that's saying manually allocated, so it don't look like, doesn't look like they're going to start producing the dark horse in June. Um, the 5.0 GT, 50%, so one out of two, every, every other one coming across that line will be a GT. Convertibles, 20%. A GT performance pack, 0%. It is saying it's a retail only. Um, bronze appearance package, 5%. Uh, the wheel and tire, uh, the wheel and stripe package is 2%, and the Recaro leather seats is 7%. So there you go. Haven't mentioned Maverick yet, right? Well, I got Maverick right here as well. They have changed the, the, the mix for the Eco first hybrid, so some people might be in, uh, like hearing this. The hybrid is now up to 40%, so it went up from 35 to 40% now. Mm -hmm. That's good. We're good. We just need to get it to that 50, right? Um, so they have uh, ramped up production for June. So June, we're going to start seeing 40% hybrid, and hopefully by June or July, we'll start seeing an uptick in the production altogether. Uh, XLT luxury package is 30%. Um, so that's pretty good, and that, I think actually that's the same number. Trimmer package is 8%, trimmer appearance package is 3%. The tow hitch is 63%, I think that's gone down a little. Um, tonneau cover, hard trifold, 5%. The hard roll up is 2%. Bed tray liner is 1%. Bed extender, 2%. 
360 package is 60%, which is a good number, and the splash guards front and rear is 5%. So you notice the small numbers are all those accessories. So mm -hmm. there you go. So that's all the scheduling information. I know it was a lot, but that's uh, anytime they, when we go over June production information or the next month, I like to share that with you guys so you have a good idea. And again, it's gonna be two weeks. Uh, not, this week, next week, will be still be part of March's scheduling for dealership allocation still. Um, and then the next month it will be, uh, they'll be working towards um, April allocations and scheduling for the June months, unless it's the F-Series. So there you go. All right.